case study 2 an organization conducted bike race under two different categories boys and girls in all there were 250 participants among all of them finally three from the category 1 and two from the category 2 were selected for the final race and Ravi forms two sets B and G with these participants for his college RIP project. It's given B is equal to B1, B2, B3 because three from the category one, category one is a boys and two from the category two that is girls, two girls have been selected G1 and G2 where B represents the set of boys selected and G is the set of girls who selected for the final race. And Ravi decides to explore these sets for various types of relations and functions. So we'll be discussing about these two sets. Set B is equal to B1, B2 and B3 and G is equal to G1 and G2. And here the number of elements in the first set B is equal to 3 and the number of elements in the second set G is equal to 2. On the basis of the above information, answer the following questions. First one, Ravi wishes to form all the relations possible from B to G. So set B is equal to B1, B2, B3 and set G is equal to G1, G2. So number of elements in B number of elements in B is equal to 3 and number of elements in G is equal to 2. So now number of relations relations defined from B to G defined from B to G is same as number of subsets number of subsets defined in the set the set b cross g that is 2 to the power of n of b into n of a so n of g So which is equal to 2 to the power 3 into 2 which is 2 to the power 6 which is 64. So 64 relations are possible from B to G. Now question number 2 write the smallest equivalence relation on G. So we have G is equal to G1 and G2 and we know that the smallest equivalence relation is an identity relation. smallest equivalence relation is an identity relation which satisfies reflexive, symmetric and transitive. So identity relation on G is equal to so we can write g1 comma g2 sorry g1 comma g1 image and pre-image both must be same and g2 comma g2 So which is the equivalence relation smallest one. Now third question A. Ravi defines a relation from B to B. So where B is equal to B1 comma B2 comma B3 as R1 is equal to the relation is defined as B1 comma B2 and B2 comma B1. And we need to write the minimum ordered pairs to be added in the R1 so that it becomes reflexive but not symmetric 
and second one reflexive and symmetric but not transitive let's study let's see this reflexive for every a belongs to the set a comma a must belongs to the relation for reflexive and for symmetric if a comma b belongs to the relation r then b comma a must belongs to the relation r and coming to the transitive coming to the transitive if a is related to b that is a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r then we can say a comma c belongs to relation r so let's see in this problem b1 comma b2 is there b2 comma b1 so for reflexive because it is reflexive but not symmetric so for reflexive for every element in the set b there should be the same image that is b1 comma b1 must be there means b1 comma b1 must be there and b2 comma b2 also not included so it is also must be there and also b3 comma b3 must be there to say that this relation is reflexive now this relation is reflexive if you add this three and coming to the symmetric it is not symmetric is said so b1 comma b2 and b2 comma b1 already it is given now we need to write one ordered pair at least one ordered pair so that it, this condition will not satisfy suppose if i can consider b1 comma b3 b1 comma b3 if i write here so that b3 comma b1 does not belongs to the r1 b3 comma b1 does not belongs to r1 and hence we can say that the relation is not symmetric so to say that this let us consider b1 comma b3 it is not compulsory only to take b1 b3 it can be taken any other elements like b1 we can take b2 b3 also we can take so that b3 b2 is also not there so these are the minimum these are the minimum ordered pairs to be included in to be included in r1 so that this relation is reflexive but not symmetric therefore r1 we can write it as b1 comma b1 b1 comma b2 b2 comma a2 b3 comma b2 comma b2 sorry and b3 comma b3 and then b1 comma b3 so these are the minimum ordered pairs which have been added and also b1 b2 b2 b1 also given let me write b2 b1 so the rounded one are the ordered pairs which are minimum ordered pairs to be added to make this function to make this relation reflexive but not symmetric now let's see b1 reflexive and symmetric but not transitive we have r1 is equal to b1 comma b2 and b2 comma b1 so here we can say this relation is not even reflexive so to make the reflexive so there should be b1 comma b1 b2 comma b2 and b3 comma b3 so that this relation is an reflexive and also it is a symmetric it seems when it is symmetric b1 b2 b2 b1 it is there b1 b1 b2 b2 b3 b3 it is symmetric also we can consider and now to prove that it is not transitive so here b1 b2 and b2 b1 b1 comma b1 is existing so we need to consider like b2 comma b3 and b3 comma b2 so that it is symmetric b2 comma b3 so b3 comma b2 existing that is symmetric but b2 comma b3 belongs to r1 and b3 comma b2 belongs to r1 then b3 comma b2 comma b2 uh, one second b2 comma b1 
or b1 comma b2 let us consider here b1 comma b2 and b2 comma b3 so that b1 comma b3 does not exist so here b1 and here b3 b1 comma b3 does not exist so that we can see it is not transitive otherwise it is reflexive and symmetric but not transitive so the minimum ordered pairs to be added is b1 b1 b2 b2 b3 b3 b2 b3 and b3 b2 so the relation we can take r1 is equal to b1 comma b1 b2 comma b2 b3 comma b3 and then again b1 comma b2 so b2 comma b1 for reflexive sorry symmetric and b2 comma b3 let us take so that b3 comma b2 does not belongs to relation so that's all so which is reflexive symmetric but not transitive but not transitive so we can say this is b answer optional question third b if the track of the final race for the biker b1 follows the curve x square is equal to 4y that is y is equal to x square upon 4 so we get the curve equation f of x is equal to or the function we can write f of x is equal to x square by 4 also we can see the graph for x lies between 0 and 20 and again y lies between 0 to 200 so we can see the graph because it's x square upon 4 graph it is a parabola so we can see the graph parabola clearly we can say from the graph it is both 1 to 1 and on to now here 1 to 1 condition is for x1 not equals to x2 x1 not equals to x2 implies f of x1 is not equals to f of x2 so here for two values x1 and x2 we can see that their function f of x1 and f of x2 both are different that is x1 not equals to x2 x1 square is not equals to x2 square or x1 square upon 4 is not equals to x2 square upon 4 that is f of x1 is not equals to f of x2 and hence we can say that the function f is 1 to 1 and now coming to on to the on to condition says for every y belongs to b there exists at least one x belongs to at least one x belongs to capital A such that f of x is equal to y. So let us consider for y lies between 0 and 200, which implies 0 less than or equals to root y lies less than or equals to root of 200 is 2 root 10 sorry 10 root 2 so we can write 10 root 2 so which implies 0 less than or equals to 2 root y is less than or equals to 20 root 2 so 2 root y is given as x value because x is equal to 2 root y so we can write x lies between 0 and 20 root 2 so for y lies between 0 to 200 so there is an x belongs to 0 to 20 and hence we can say that such that f of x is equal to 
y and hence f is on 2. So here you can see that on the y axis every line between 0 to 200 it will cut the x axis at least at one point. At least at one point it will cut and hence we can say this function is on 2. Okay.